Prestige MJM przedstawia. Over 50 years on the stage, uh, Rudolf, you are uh, with the Scorpions from the very beginning. But actually, a few years ago, something happened because the band decided to stop the career. And we even organized your goodbye show in Poland. So what happened then? What happened then? Nobody let us go. I mean, by accident, I don't know, by demand and whatever, stopping uh, the farewell tour in Munich in 2012. Uh, 10th of January, uh, MTV Unplugged called us, you know, guys, here, it would be great. So, so And we said, yeah, it would be great because we tried already in the late 80s, in the beginning of 90s to unplug, but we were always busy when they came on with the offer. So this was the perfect time. We did a very good album, Sting in the Tail. We had the right producers and we said to ourselves, that's the possibility to complete our box of uh, farewell tour. So in this case, we s start working on it and we convinced MTV Unplugged not being in a studio in front of 250 people. No, doing it on the highest mountain of uh, essence in the amphitheater and in front of 4,000 people, so it was 3,500. So, and uh, MTV said, yes, of course. They asked around uh, worldwide and they said, yes. So in this case, we worked on the MTV Unplugged. It became a very big success. So, and then the 50 years anniversary came. Our manager said, you guys stupid when you not celebrated 50 years. Who else is 50 years on the road? Rolling Stones, Beach Boys, and the who? So in this case, coming from Germany and celebrate 50 years of music where nobody believed, were believing in Germany when I started that you can live with it, for, uh, with it you know, and you can even do it still until now. That is like a wonder. So in this case, it was for us clear worldwide the people, promoter said, yes, we want to do a tour. So now we, we got convinced by the new generation also. We had, uh, uh, when we did a farewell tour, the Facebook started and we had already over 1 million Facebook users. We found out 80% of them are between 60 and 20 years, uh, 28 years old because we were wondering already why we have so many young people in front of the stage. So now we know because our music really and our appearance on stage and on YouTube you can see, oh, I want to see the band. So and I think that's the fantastic thing. The, the music, uh, the routine uh, went off. We became new energy. And of course now with Mickey D and the new drummer, there is a new uh, kind of uh, energy also uh, in it, and so we love it. The people love it. So in this case, we, we came out with the album Return to Forever. So here we are. I don't know how, uh, how long forever is, but <laughs> you will see. <laughs> and counting, it's actually the third generation that you are playing for, isn't it? That's great. OK, and tell me, is it easy to find motivation for so long time? Is it easy to find motivation? Mm -hmm. To play no, so many all. years. <coughs> I mean, uh, we are in the lucky situation that we have, as Rudolf just mentioned, an ever like uh, a growing audience that seems to become uh, younger and younger. And that's very motivating to begin with, you know, have the chance as a band that is like on the road for more than 50 years to play to a relatively young audience. Um, that's fantastic. And we have lots of people too. So we just played in all over Scandinavia and everything was sold out. And uh, here in Poland we have since many years a great success and we attract a lot of people. And uh, that's something, you know, when you know, when you look ahead and you know tonight there will be people who are really into the music, who bring all the energy and uh, they sing with us and, uh, you know, and, and it's lots of them too then you know you have a great atmosphere in the venue and then it's fun to play your songs over and over again. You know, mm -hmm. it's not like that we change the program every night, but the people make the difference. 
Yeah, and speaking about people in Poland, you've already been in Poland this year, and even that didn't stop people to buy another ticket for another show this year. Is it a phenomenon, or you feel some kind of a bond with Polish people and Polish fans? I think uh, the people realize that they, when they go to a Scorpion show, they will have a great time. You know, mm -hmm. it's that not only that they hear the music they love, but they they can enjoy themselves. And it's you know, we on stage, we give them all reasons to really enjoy the show. We have a great show and uh, that they can have fun themselves. It's a great night out. And especially on the farewell tour, you know, it was very much uh, because many fans came to the airport and brought us presents, crying and all this kind of thing. Oh, too bad. No, Do you won't. like it? What? Do you like it? When no, I, 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 that's what I want to say. No, we start thinking about it one moment. We have a fantastic life. We have so outstanding life. We have so great fans. So that was also helping us really to continue. And uh, we have a fantastic life. That gave us the possibility to see our band from the outside over the fans. So and that was a great, great thing. And we appreciate very much that we have many fans. And we really uh, made a decision that we still uh, playing and enjoying it. So you said that you have a great life. What are the three, the best advantages of being a member of a rock band? You have the great advantage that you could turn your passion first into a hobby, but then into a profession. And you do what you really love best. You do that and make a living. That's one thing. And then you get to travel the world. That is a super nice side effect. And you get to meet very interesting and lovely people around the world. So those are the three things that really make and our lives special. Once I've heard that women are in your top three when somebody asks you about the advantages of being a member of a rock band. Is it true? I mean, women, you, you talk about Mickey D, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> He is number one, yes. I mean, I said the interesting people you meet from around the world. That okay, includes okay. women, of course. Okay, yeah. okay. And every year you're playing an enormous number of countries, different uh, continents. And do you, are you able to at least remember one detail from every show or is it impossible for you? I think, you know, among ourselves, we, we remind us when we talk about things in the past, we all have great memories and uh, great, you know, uh, we can remember a lot of things, details that might be 35 years ago. We still, ah, OK, yeah, I remember. And we are pretty good at that. I think we are the, the band at the moment who plays more countries than any other band in the world. Yeah, and I'm not asking without, the re without any reason, because uh, your show in 2008 was actually the beginning of the activity of our company, Prestige AMJM activity. Yeah. Uh, did you remember this show? Because it was uh, in a very small city, Ostrów Wielkopolski. Uh, when you show us pictures, we, we, we will, I'm 100% sure that we will remember. But you know, without, especially in the name, was very complicated. Mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> yeah, for, it us is. <laughs> for us, it's not so catchy. So we, yeah, we remember shows way before that. But uh, this particular one, yeah, we have to, we have to see how, mm -hmm. what it looked like. Mm -hmm. Is it? Okay, and I think that uh, today we will have a fifth time together with you as Prestige MJM, and this is a very good opportunity to have one surprise for our fans. So ah, <laughs> right. Yes, okay, so you want to announce it early. Yeah. It is, um, yeah, the Scorpions are coming back in uh, 2018 to the famous city of Wuj. Wuj, yes. And we will play there in the summer in July, and uh, we're really looking forward to that too. Thank you guys for an interesting interview. Thank you very much. Hi, this is Rul Schenker. And Matthias Jabs from, from the, the Scorpions. Scorpions. And when we want to congratulate MJM for their 10th anniversary. And uh, we feel very much connected because you started uh, with the Scorpions, your first show in 2008, and now you've done so many with us and other great acts. And we wish you the success for the, or continued success for the future. 
Subskrybuj kanał PrestigeMJM.tv, by być na bieżąco. Wejdź na bilety.imprezyprestige.com i zakup bilet na wymarzony koncert.